Oh, buddy, I am getting excited because we've got ResolveCon coming up in a few days here. Today is Wednesday. I'm actually flying out tomorrow out to Oregon. We're going to be meeting up with a bunch of other creators out there. And Friday starts ResolveCon. I'm super excited to get out there and just share some DaVinci Resolve with you guys. We're going to be talking some audio stuff. It'll be, be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are going to be there, but if you can't make it in person, hopefully you guys can watch online and, uh, and get some great information from all of the awesome creators that are presenting. But I just thought I'd make a quick video here and give you guys a little update. This summer has been super busy for me, super crazy. Um, and not because I've got a lot of videos I'm working on, because you may have noticed I've been a little slow on posting some videos, but I've been on full-time dad duty, because when summer comes, all the munchkins are home and uh, we got a lot of things going on. So for me and YouTube here, video making, uh, the summer is kind of like the slow time for me. But as soon as everybody gets back in school and after ResolveCon here, we're gonna be uh, cranking back to making videos and trying to get something out, you know, more often, once a week, maybe bring back some quick tip Tuesdays and stuff. But um, yeah, this summer has been, it's been a lot busier than I expected. Also spent a lot of time working on the ResolveCon stuff, just putting together everything. I wanted to put together a real good file that, you know, is easy for you guys to follow along with and stuff. So yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what's been going on. I just got back from uh, vacation. We had a soccer tournament then uh, right from there, went down to Tennessee, had an awesome family vacation there, and then back for a few days, and then we're heading out to ResolveCon. Um, so I'm hoping to, you know, see you guys there, but we'll, we'll see. And now I'm just trying to get packed up, trying to figure out what am I going to bring, what do I need. So I just thought, hey, let's just uh, make a little video here. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna share what I'm gonna bring. First thing, this guy right here, the 2470. We're gonna bring this. I'm gonna bring my 5D Mark IV and the 16 to 35 that's on there right now, um, because I'm actually gonna be photographing the event. So, you know, a lot of people do uh, do the video and all that, obviously. And I think I'm going to vlog it a little bit, too, maybe. Um, but I offered to take pictures because nobody was around to take pictures. And I did it last year. Worked out great. So I was like, hey, I could do it again this year. Take some pictures for everybody, you know. Um, but if I do vlog it, I actually had a thought here. What do you guys think about this? Now, I would love to vlog it on my 5D Mark IV. But the thing is big. It's heavy. And you know what? I thought I thought I'd actually, instead of doing that... Um, I'm going to vlog it on my GoPro. I did that last year and it worked out really good, surprisingly, because it's so little. The audio is reasonable. I mean, it's not as good as, as if I throw a microphone on my 5D Mark IV, but still reasonable. And the GoPro, it's just so small and so easy to use. And it's good enough. I don't got to worry about focus and exposure and all that. I can just run a gun with this thing, right? It's a GoPro, but who cares? You know, it, it get some footage and then at least it'll give me an opportunity to, um, you know, edit together a different kind of video. and. If you guys want to check it out, you can check it out. And if not, eh, that's cool too. No worries, no worries. So, so yeah, so I got to get this packed up. I got to um, start charging everything up. I got, you know, memory cards over here. We got all our cards here that we're, we're working on. Got to get all that stuff together. We got to round up all of my lenses. Um, I'm going to be bringing my old trusty um, 2015 MacBook Pro right here. So that way I can work on uh, some pictures, you know, in between downtime in the evenings or whatever try and get some stuff done for uh for casey and his crew that way we've got some pictures gonna try and post lots of images uh, along the way some from my cell phone some from the 5d mark 4 right here i'm also gonna take a little look through my gear cabinet back here and see what else do i need to bring you know what else i need is this guy right here oh the 2470 this guy has got to be oh gotta change my hands here this guy has got to be my favorite lens although it weighs a ton um i love this lens this thing is awesome and for shooting sports i got a 1.4 converter for it works out pretty good that's uh it does a good job although now that uh my, my one daughter's moving up to playing on the big fields i might have to invest in some longer glass than the 7200 even with that 1.4 converter so um so i gotta pack that up and uh, just kind of look through the rest of my, my gear closet back here, charge up all the batteries, you know, all that kind of stuff. But uh, trying to get ready, pack up, pack up everything I need, head off to ResolveCon here. Dude, I'm super excited about uh, ResolveCon this year. It's just such a great event, it's so much fun. You know, thanks Casey to putting all this together. A lot of fun, good time. I hope you guys are gonna be there online and in person and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be a good time. Looking, really looking forward to it. In other news, check this out. I've had these Sony headphones, Sony MDR V6 
headphones since 2002. So I've been using these guys for over 20 years and the right side just stopped working on me. Oh man, I'm so bummed. I love these headphones. They're fantastic. Back when I bought them, they're like 80 bucks and uh, they discontinued them, I think in 2020. And um, you can't even find them anymore. Well, I should take that back. You can find them, but people want like a few hundred bucks for them, which they're probably not worth a few hundred bucks, but sound quality on these things were awesome. I'm really bummed that uh, that they, they, they kind of stopped working on me. But what I think I'm gonna do, and which I have already started doing, is reaching out to several manufacturers and seeing if I can round up a bunch of different pairs of headphones so that we can test them out and you can see, or I can share how they're different when we're editing our audio, right? Because if I edit on these, it's gonna sound drastically different than if I edit on these, these Mackie headphones that are a little bit cheaper, right? It's big sound difference in these two. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see with other brands what kind of audio editing experience I can get uh, with their headphones. So stay tuned for that. This fall, I'm gonna be having a video about that, hopefully, um, assuming I can round up some headphones. Worst case, I'll go purchase everything myself. We could we could do it that way too. Always unbiased though, you know? I'm gonna give you my, my honest thoughts on anything that I try out because that's what I would want from any of you guys or anybody that I watch videos on, right? Just give me your honest opinion. I don't care if you got it for free. I don't care if you paid for it. Just give me your honest opinion and tell me what you think about whatever it is. Uh, so that was a bummer that my headphones died. Not, not too happy about that, but um, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know, things happen and you know, it's probably time for an upgrade anyway. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at today. I just wanted to make a quick update video for you guys and just kind of let you know that I've been super busy this summer with all the dad stuff and uh, taking care of the munchkins and everything. And last month here has been real busy with some travel and everything. Um, but yeah, so uh, uh, come September, I'm planning to really hit the ground running here and try and get some uh, some good videos out for you guys. Gonna be talking about a lot of um, different things that I might not have made videos about before and kind of revisiting some uh, older videos that I think are important that, you know, people might just not look for, you know, or they might not find, or they might not realize, uh, you know, something that's important. So I think I'm gonna take a look at my back catalog and see what has done well, and then kind of update that too for, uh, you know, Resolve 18.5.1, which I think is the most current version there. Um, oh, and another thing, if any of you guys are uh, gonna be attending, um, I think it's called the Build? Expo B-I-L-D at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City on September 6th and September 7th. I'm gonna try and get there and check it out. I already registered. I really want to um, get there and be able to just kind of browse around some new gear, check out some sessions there. Um, it's close to me, so it's one that's easy for me to get to. I did check out the list of speakers. There are some great people there um, that uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing. Um, from and just kind of hearing their talks. You know, Jared Poland's gonna be there. I've been watching him since he started on YouTube a long, long time ago, and he's not too far from me. He's down in Philly, so, you know, not too far. Never met him, but um, would love to see his talk. And there's a bunch of other people on that list too. I know Black Magic. Uh, I think I saw them on the sponsored list. I think they're gonna be there. Looking forward to meeting up with them. Um, so if any of you guys are in the area, drop me a note on, you know, my channel somewhere on a video or Maybe I'll make a post about it, and if any of you guys are gonna be there, you can comment on the post in the community tab of my channel. Um, that's gonna be fun, really looking forward to that. And uh, just getting to learn a little more, see some cool stuff, and uh, and maybe even meet some of you guys. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I go to these things, I don't think anybody's gonna know who I am. I mean, just some guy that makes some videos down here in my basement, you know what I mean? But really glad that I'm able to, you know, to help people through my videos and stuff. And uh, it is cool when people recognize you, which doesn't really happen often. When you go to these events, there's a chance somebody might recognize me. I don't know. Kind of hopefully not. It's kind of nice to fly under the radar. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I appreciate all you guys so much. I probably don't say it enough. Appreciate everybody watching, commenting, liking, subscribing. We're getting close to 100K here. Pretty excited about that. So if you have any friends that can help us get to 100K, tell them to subscribe if they like the Vinci Resolve and video editing. Because if they don't, then there's no reason for them to subscribe. But we will be coming up to that. I'm really hoping we can get to that 100K by the end of the year. That would be awesome. Oh, big congrats to Darren Mostyn. Just hit 100K. Dude, Darren is awesome. Congratulations, man. That is pretty sweet. And uh, hopefully I'll be following you in, in, following in your footsteps soon here and getting to that 100,000 subscribers. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you at ResolveCon if you're gonna be there. And uh, if not, maybe I'll see you at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City. And if not there, 
we'll see each other around YouTube, you know? Come on, we're like family here, right? We're like family. All right, guys, thanks so much. I will see you in the next video. Peace.